Hi everyone, now when we go to see a movie, we see visually the movie, but what about sound? How is the story being told to us through sound effects, through the sound design, the music, all of that? Today, I'm gonna to explore with you how you can transform your film from being something that sounds a little bit meh and a bit uninviting to the audience and something that's more, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying now. To the audience, you know what I mean. Let's get into it. So now I'm going to show you a short series of shots, try saying that when you're drunk, without the audio so you can watch this and think to yourself where are the sounds coming from if I was going to do this, what kind of music would I add to this, what's the story being told and how could I enhance it through sound, how are we going to tell the story with sound. So let's get into it and watch this short series of shots without audio. In this first scene, we can see there's traffic in the background. There's a car that passes immediately. We've got the bus there. Also the footsteps, how slow, how fast are they? The speed of them, the shoes. He's wearing trainers, but is the person that you're doing a scene on wearing high heels or something like that? The surface is gonna make a difference as well. So is it on concrete? What kind of surface is it? And air tone, the actual atmosphere of where he is. What are the sounds around him? In this shot, we're gonna look at the hand on the gate, put a little tap on the gate there. That'll be a nice little effect as well as the gate unlocking. Here we've got the environment, so the oven's open, has it just been switched off, has it got that whirring sound, is there a clock inside this room that's ticking, or the washing machine, is that on and whirring away? All these things we need to think about that can bring this whole world to life for the audience and the story that we're telling. Outdoors here, it's a bit breezy, a little bit windy, we want to decide how kind of we want that wind to come across, is it a strong one, is it just a light breeze? Also with the phone and props that you're using, is there a dial tone on that phone being used, that kind of thing? and also dialogue. Do we want it to be quiet? Do we not want the dialogue to be heard? It's something quite secretive. Or is it something that we definitely want the audience to hear because it's very important to the story and bringing it to life as well. So how am I doing this? Well, I'm using Epidemic Sound. This is an amazing software that you can get for a fairly decent price that will bring you 35,000 tracks, 90,000 sound effects, the first month for free. I'll put a link in the description below so you can hit that link right now and get yourself a free month. And also you can use it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and podcasts as well. It's absolutely amazing for this kind of stuff. And I use it for all my films now. And I use it for all my YouTube videos. It's such a great source of music and sound effects as well. It's just brilliant. And I use it for just about everything. It's pretty affordable as well. The one that I use is 10 pounds a month, but if you pay yearly, it's 96 pounds a year, which then ends up being eight pounds a month. And of course, there are more expensive plans depending on what you want to do. It also gives you recommendations based off music that you've listened to recently. So if there's certain types of music you like to use for your channel or your films, then it's all there. And we've got all sorts of different categories. So you've got things like Now Trending, you've got online sources as well. So Now Trending is something you maybe want to steer clear of because that's something that's going to be used a lot if it's trending. But it might be a song that you really, really enjoy and want to have in there. You can also see the waveforms at the bottom, which show you when the beat drops and the music. So maybe that's too loud for you. Maybe it's something you don't want to use. Maybe you want to cut out that intro, that kind of thing. And when you want to download your song, you can either look for similar songs by pressing on that chain link, or when you want to actually download the song, you've got the option of downloading all stems or download full mix. If you download the full mix, it'll give you one single track with everything in that one track. If you download all stems, you'll get separate tracks. So you'll get one, for example, of the drums, then maybe the vocals. And if you don't want the vocals, you can take that out and just have the music on its own. And of course, there are so many categories other than this as well. You've got ads, promos, trailers, comedy, corporate, cinematic. You've even got travel and wedding and romance video music as well. And you've got sound effects as well, going from cartoons to footsteps to props, ambience, whips different weathers, computer sounds, all these effects are amazing. You've got 90,000 sound effects. And just to remind you, I'm not being paid for this. It's not like a paid advert or anything like that. I just really enjoy Epidemic Sound. And you know that I wouldn't push something that I don't use myself. 
An example here, you can see with these footsteps and sound effects, you can get a huge variety there. And you've got a few different price plans as well, depending on what you want to use it for. So take a look at Epidemic Sound after this. I'll put a link in the description below. But right now, let's take a look at this mini short film that I've made with all the sound effects and the clips that I've added in from Epidemic Sound. Hi babe. Yep, we sold the place. Better start packing our bags. Miss you. See you soon. Bye. Love you. And now I'm going to show you this film with two different soundtracks. So the sound design is really going to step up now. And I want you to think about what these songs tell you about the story. Hi babe. Yep, we sold the place. Better start packing our bags. Miss you. See you soon. Bye. Love you. We got her. She's not even subscribed to the channel. What a fool. We've been tracking her the whole time. Yeah. Any further updates and I'll give in to you. Now as you can see with the first film we made with one soundtrack over it, it had a real kind of hopeful feel to it, a bit more of an upbeat feel. So everything that the character did had a different feeling to it and the story that was being told felt completely different to when there's no soundtrack behind it. In the second series of shots, we put a soundtrack behind it. It felt a bit more mysterious, a bit more kind of curious, a little bit more wild card, if you like, with the audio. So you really didn't know quite what was going on, but you knew something suspicious was happening. And then at the end, you find out that he's found out who isn't subscribed to his channel. Let that be a lesson to you all. So that's how you tell a story with sound design and music. It's a really interesting way to change your film and tell a story in a different way. If you're on a low budget or have no budget, then YouTube's audio library is a really good resource for getting good tracks and songs for your films and filmmaking too. There's also sound effects, which you can click on there and you can go through a whole range of sound effects. It may not have everything you want, but there's quite a lot here as well. And it's a really good option to use as well as freesound.org. I've used this a lot as I started out with my filmmaking. It's a free resource. You just type in what you want and mostly it has something that you'll be able to use and most of it's pretty good quality as well. Of course, you can record Foley sounds afterwards after you finish filming to get good sounds as well. The one thing I really want all of you to take away from this, which is something I'm taking away from it as well, is how are you going to tell your next narrative story through sound design? What sound effects are you going to use? How clear are they? How quiet are they? What are you choosing for audience to pick up? What are you putting towards the background a little bit? And what kind of music are you going to put there, if at all, in your film as well to help tell the story? So how are you using sounds to tell your story? If you want to know more about smartphone filmmaking, then check out my playlist right here. If you want to learn more about sounds and microphones and that kind of thing you can get for smartphone filmmaking and filmmaking in general, then check out the video here. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.